Three, two, one. Lift off about the time. Welcome to the modern day space race. The aim is not only to reach the stars, but now to get back and land upright. A feat now accomplished here by pioneering private enterprise SpaceX. Their journey to success has not been without failure. This test in June ended in flames, as did this attempted upright landing in April. Touchdown, engine stop. And then their rival, Blue Origin, owned by billionaire Jeff Bezos, dared to hail success with a landing on a test flight. Unlike SpaceX, this was not from deeper space. Once the space war was fought between nation states, now it's fought between America-based companies. The brain behind this outfit is Elon Musk. In the eyes of many, a real-life Tony Stark, Iron Man. Not only does he seem to have the funds to be able to make these amazing things a reality, Elon Musk seems to be the kind of person that wants to go to Mars and says, well, why can't we go to Mars? And finds solutions to those problems. He doesn't censor the curiosity out of the work that he does. We're here in the SpaceX headquarters. Private companies are at the heart of the scramble for space. Elon Musk's company has a $2.6 billion contract with NASA to transport astronauts. It's hoped the money will help bankroll space exploration, commerce and space travel. This is actually the first commercial spacecraft to ever orbit the Earth. Reducing the cost of commercial spaceflight means that we can send far more into space without having to rely, perhaps, on government funding for these things that may perhaps sometimes be a little tricky to justify. But this won't just take us into orbit or just up to the International Space Station. This is going to potentially take us much further beyond. Both Blue Origin and SpaceX have made waves, but aren't both behind Jerry Anderson, the creator of Thunderbirds. So the space race is back on track, but this time it's commercial. 